Welcome to Lecture Online. Now we can proceed with setting up an example that gives us the first 10 chips of the PRN code for Space Vehicle 1. Remember, for Space Vehicle 1, we're going to combine and sum up bit position 2 and bit position 6 from polynomial number 2. I've listed the equations for polynomial 1 and polynomial 2. Combined, they will then produce that gold code. Also, to help us along, here are the first four characters of the 10 chips that we need for that code in octal. If it's in octal, the 0 will give us three zeros. The 4 will give us a 1 and 2 zeros. This 4 will give us a 1 and 2 zeros. And this 1 will give us a 1 there. This then will become the first 10 chips of that code for a total of 1,023 chips every one millisecond. How do we derive those? Well, let's go ahead and go through the process. At the beginning of every millisecond, all the bits positions for polynomial 1 for that register and all the bit positions for the next register will all be set equal to 1 at the beginning of that millisecond. And then the process starts. We combine 3 and, and, three and 10. They're both equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. A 2 is even becomes a 0. That gets placed into this register. Everything else shifts over. This then becomes 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. What gets fed over over here? Well, it's the output of 10, which is a 1. So this 1 will go over to polynomial 2 to get summed with the output of bits 2 and 6. Remember that bits 2 and 6 are summed for space vehicle 1, 3 and 7 for space vehicle 2, 4 and 8 for space vehicle 3, 5 and 9 for space vehicle 4, 1 and 9 for space vehicle 5, and so forth. So every space vehicle will be, get their code produced by summing up two of these bits. First of all, we want to know what gets fed into this register on the next step. That, that comes from adding 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10 together. Since they're all 1s and there's 6 of them, that'll give me a 6. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives me a 6. That adds up to a 0 because if it's even, it becomes 0. Gets fed into this register. Everything else gets shifted over 1, 1, 1. Like this. Now what goes into the code? Well, we combine 2 and 6, 2 and 6 sum together. That would be this one and this one get summed together. That is 2. Well, sum of 1 and 1 gives me 2. That becomes a 0 because it's even. And we sum that with the output of 10, which is a 1. So actually what it comes down to is you add these three together. That gives you a 3. A 3 is odd. That becomes a 1. And yes, you'll get the first chip right there. And that's correct. Okay, next process, we're going to add 3 and 10 together. 3 and 10, they're both 1s. 1 plus 1 is 2, that becomes 0. We feed that into our first bit position. Everything else shifts over by 1. Over here, we do the same thing. We sum up 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. They're all still 1s. That becomes 6. 6 is even, becomes 0. So we put a 0 in here. Everything else shifts over 0, 1. To get the second chip here, we grab the contents of bit 2 and bit 6. We sum that together with the contents of bit 10 of the polynomial 1. That's three ones. That adds up to a 3, which is odd. That gives me a 1. And so far, we're meeting the code we're looking for. Okay, next step. We combine 3 and 10 together. They're both 1s. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's even. That puts a 0 in the front. Everything else gets shifted over, 0, 0. The rest is still 1s. This then gets shipped over to polynomial 2 to be summed over here with bits 2 and 6. And we'll first go through the process of adding up bits 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. But now one of them is a 0. That means when they, you sum those up, remember you sum up 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. When you sum those up, you get 5. 5 is an odd number. That becomes 1. Gets fed into the first bit position. Everything else shifts over. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we grab the contents here, the contents there, the content here. That's 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. That's even. That becomes 0. So we sum all three up. We get a 0. Okay, next step. We combine 3 and 10. 3 and 10, that's this and this. Now 0 plus 1 is 1. That gets fed into the first register, so we get a 1 here. Everything else shifts over 
we got the three zeros, everything else is a one. We'll grab this value and add it to the sum of two and six. So here's two and here's six. And we also have to add two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10. So two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10. Notice those are zeros. We get four ones, that's an even number. Four, that becomes a zero, gets fed into the first bit position. Everything else shifts over. One, zero, zero, one. Everything else. And we grab the one, the zero, and the one. That becomes a two. Two adds up to zero because that's an even number. So far, so good. Next step, we're going to combine three and 10. So three and 10, zero and one, that adds up to one. That goes into the first bit position. Everything else shifts over. So this one goes in here. Those three zeros shift over. The ones all shift over. We're going to grab this one. And here we add up two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10. Notice one, two, three, four, five, that's odd. That becomes a one, goes in here. Everything else shifts over, zero, one, zero, zero. The rest is all ones. And we're going to combine this one, the 10 bit position from polynomial one, the second bit position from polynomial two, and the sixth bit position, one, 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 that's three ones, that comes out to three, which is a one. And sure enough, that seems to match what we're looking for. Okay, next step, we're going to combine three and 10. Zero and one is a one, that goes into the first bit position, everything else shifts over, one, one, zero, 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 one, 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 one. Over here, we're going to add two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10. That gives me a one, two, three, four, five, that's odd. That becomes a one, goes in the first bit position. Everything else shifts over, one, zero, one, zero, zero. The rest is all ones. We grab the value in the 10th position here, in the second position here, and in the sixth position there. One plus zero plus one, that's a two, that's even. That becomes a zero. That's the next chip on the code going out. So far, it looks like we got the right code. Then we add up three and 10. One plus one is two, that's even. That becomes a zero. That goes in the first bit position. Everything else shifts over. One, 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 zero, 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 one, one, one. Over here, we do the same thing, except we grab two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10. That's a one, two, three, four, that's even, that becomes a zero, first bit position, everything else shifts over, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, one. We grab the 10 bit position here, we grab the second one here, and we grab the sixth one here. One plus one is two, plus zero is two. Two is even, that becomes a zero, and that's our next chip in our 1023 chip message going out from the satellite to the receiver. This is all, of course, a very small fraction of a second. Each chip takes about one millionth of a second, very close to that. Okay, continuing on, we grab three and 10. They're both ones. That's a two, that's even. That puts a zero in the first position. Everything else shifts over. The zero goes over here. It's one, 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 zero, 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 one, one. Over here, we grab the second, the third, the sixth, eighth, ninth, and 10 position. One, two, three, four, five, that's odd. An odd number becomes a one, goes in the first position. Everything else shifts over. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. We grab the 10 bit position from polynomial one, the second from polynomial two, the sixth from polynomial two. One plus one is two plus zero, stays two. That's even, it becomes zero, and that's our next chip. All right, a couple more. We grab the third and the tenth, that's two, that's even, that becomes zero, goes in the front, everything else shifts over, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, 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 one. Over here, we grab the second, the fourth, oh, sorry, the third, the sixth, the eighth, ninth, and the tenth. One, two, three, four, that's even, that becomes zero. Everything else shifts over, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Here we grab the 10-bit position, 
the second over here and the sixth over there. 1 plus 0 plus 1, that's 2, that's even, that becomes a 0, and 0 over there. And the last one, again, we grab 3 and 10, that's 0 plus 1 is 1, that's 1, that becomes, goes over here. Everything else shifts over, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Over here, we grab the 2nd, the 3rd, the 6th, the 8th, the ninth, and the 10th. 1, 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, that's even, that becomes a 0, goes in the front, everything else shifts over, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. To feed the code, we grab the 10th bit position over here, the 2nd bit position over here, and the 6th bit position, notice we have a 1, a 1, and a 0, that's 2, 2 becomes 0, and that gives us the 10th chip. And that's how the process continues in those two registers. We do that 1,023 times in about one millisecond, the 1,024 time, then every get, everything gets reset to ones, and the process starts over again, over and over again. And you notice that this gold code going out from the satellite to the receiver indicates then with this code that this belongs to Space Vehicle 1, and that's how the receiver knows which satellite they're communicating with. It's a very ingenious process. Now, what would be the difference if this was done by satellite vehicle number two? Well, then they would use, instead of using two and six, they would be using three and seven. If this was space vehicle three, they would use four and eight to produce the gold code. And that's how every space vehicle has a different set of two bits in the register that they will sum up combined with the 10th position from polynomial 1 for register 1, and that will then drive the chips that are then assembled to make up the CA message, the cores acquisition message, in the PRN, the pseudo-random noise message going out from the satellite to the receivers. And that's how they do that.